Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Invest. Today, in today's video, we're talking about everything meta. The Q2 report came out last week. I was busy, so I couldn't break this down, but we're gonna get into it in this video. Should I sell all of my meta? This is what everyone is talking about. People are selling here, there, wherever. People are just selling their stock. They don't believe in the company anymore. People are saying Zuck is over, Meta is done, it's finished. Let's get to the bottom of this. Is this true? Is this false? What do we think about Meta the stock? And guys, do you own Meta yourself? And how are you faring with this huge drawdown? 54% for the year. Guys, I had it at like 237, 240. Kind of, that's where my average price is. I think it's actually a little bit lower. But think about it. In August 2021, it was at 362, 378 in September 2021. This stock has been getting killed, man. Just been getting killed. It's at a 13 PE. Tell me what you think about this breakdown. And if you agree, if you disagree, if you're selling meta, if you're buying meta, tell me what's your expectations for the company. Everything, guys. Leave the comments down below. Getting into meta's second quarter results for 2022. It was kind of shocking, a little bit surprised, but man, you can't even sugarcoat these results. It was bad, man. They had a bad quarter overall. But remember, guys, you have to look at the big picture when you're thinking about stocks, when you're thinking about meta. These companies go through ups and downs, and we know how bad the economy is right now. So you got to give these companies some slack. When people have these high expectations for these companies to produce 12, 30% revenue growth every single quarter, it's just unrealistic, it's stupid, it's people don't understand how companies work. How do people expect Meta to perform like amazing in this bad economy? Ads being the main driver of their business and we know the economy is not going good so ads are not gonna perform well. On top of that, they're switching to reels. So the reels segment of their business that's cannibalizing their stories and feeds. Their stories and feeds part of their business is generating more money or was generating more money compared to Reels. They still haven't monetized Reels fully. So you can't really compare right now. They're still going through a transition. When you go through the story of Meta and look through it with those type of eyes, you understand why the revenue is down 1%. The economy is going to garbage right now. No one's spending tons of money on ads. Plus, they're doing reels, they're transitioning, and they see huge opportunity in reels, so down 1%. This would actually be up 3% if it wasn't for the currency. So the currency actually made it down 1% for the year. But, come on, a lot of people are dealing with the same kind of foreign currency issues, so you can't really say anything about that. Expenses up 22%, so they have a lot of general administration stuff, research and development, the headcount. They had a headcount increase of like 32%. So they're hiring like crazy. It's insane. But they said that they're going to actually streamline that down quarter after quarter. And that's actually going to reduce going throughout the quarter. So that's a good thing. Operating margins, man. That shit the bed. 43% to 29%. Damn, man. And that goes into the fact that their revenue is not growing. Their income is not growing. Plus, they're increasing their expenses. So... We understand why that's happening. EPS down 32% as well. Net income down 36%, which is horrible. Bad results. But remember, it's just one damn quarter, guys. One quarter. If you're a true investor, you don't think quarter to quarter. You think five-year time periods. Three to five-year time periods. Do we believe that in three to five years, Meta is not going to be earning more money? Think about that. Like, that's a simple answer for me. If you can't answer that, then maybe you should just get out of meta. But that's just a simple answer for me. And how people are saying this is a dead stock. Remember, people are saying people are leaving Facebook. They're leaving WhatsApp. They're leaving Instagram. Like, that is the most nonsense thing I can ever, like, imagine. What other app are people going to advertise on or go to to share photos, to get with your friends? Like, there's no other replacement for Facebook for Instagram, there's no other replacement. TikTok doesn't do the same things as Instagram. TikTok is not really for like getting your friends together and posting photos. Like it's for videos. Like it's it's two different apps in my opinion. And people can use TikTok and Instagram. Like it's not one or the other in my opinion. So it's just garbage. 
Daily active people up 4%. So this is a dying company that everyone says up 4%. Monthly active people up 4%. Daily active users increase of 3%. Uh, monthly active users up 1%. And remember, this is daily active people. 2.8 billion people. Like, that is insane, man. Insane. They're repurchasing shares, which is a good thing. 5 billion. But they also decreased this. It was like 11 billion, like, three or four quarters ago. And now it's 5 billion. That's kind of a question mark because the company is cheaper now. So, it's kind of weird that they're not increasing the buybacks. But who cares right now? They're spending a lot on freaking um, Metaverse and uh, getting reels back in order and uh, AI and just data in general. So... There you have it, 33, 32% increase in headcount, which is insane, and I didn't really like that, but come on guys, the, that's going to be fixed in the future. They said that they're going to decrease that headcount, or it's going to be kind of streamlined, so they're not going to have that many people, or they're not going to be doing that much hiring anymore into the future, because they got their, pretty much their, their foundation right now. And they hired way too much during the uptick in 2021 and 2020 after the whole COVID situation. So that's it for now. So let's sum up these results very quickly. Ad impressions up 15%. Price per ad down 14%. Negative 14%. Guys, this is so important. Do we think this is going to be the same thing two years from now, five years from now, ten years from now? Do we think the ads are going to go up once the economy gets better, which is going to get better eventually? We're not going to be in a recession forever. Or do you think it's going to continue to go negative? Like, tell me what you think about that. If you think it's going to be positive moving on to the future two, three, four years from now, what are you worrying about? Total cost and expenses up 22%. They're spending a lot of money. Uh, earnings before interest and taxes down 32%. Margins were down to 29%. Net income 36% negative, negative 32% uh, EPS, headcount up 32%, cash pile 40 billion. So balance sheet is spectacular. That's why we don't have to worry about a bankruptcy or a meta doing anything bad or anything hap or anything bad happening to meta. Buybacks 5 billion, which is amazing. Daily active people up 4%. Up 4%, monthly active people, daily active users up 3%, monthly active users up 1%. So Meta is growing on a huge base of people right now, which is actually extremely positive. I'm surprised they're even still growing <laughs> with billions of people. Like it, It's amazing how they're still growing because it's always in like the number 2, 3, 4 top apps. And think about this right now. Meta generated 2021. 39 billion in free cash flow this stock is selling at a market cap of 434 billion dollars now think about this if you were to buy the whole company and that's how warren buffett thinks about buying companies if he's gonna buy a stock he's thinking about buying the whole company if you're gonna buy the whole company for 434 billion dollars you're getting a nine percent yield pretty much on your money Tell me where else are you going to get this deal? A 9% yield on your money? Like, that's insane. You're not going to find that anywhere else. So, you're getting a 9% yield on the business you buy? That's insane. With a growing business, even though it was down this quarter, year after year, it's usually good. Year after year, it's going to grow. Meta's going to grow year after year. So, that's not a thing to really think about. And even if it doesn't, it's just one year, guys. It's not going to be this forever as the economy gets better, which eventually it will, right? You have the metaverse. So if you don't believe in the metaverse, even if you don't believe in the metaverse, and I believe in it because Oculus is doing amazing, people keep thinking, oh, the metaverse is just a waste of money. Do people not realize that Oculus is like 80% of the market share? That's like That is insane. Plus, they have Project Cambria coming to market later this year. Like, I believe in that. But people are saying, oh, like, that's all garbage. The metaverse is garbage. Even if you don't believe in that, even if you don't believe in that, they're still generating 30%, 20% return on equity. So they're getting return on your money, even with that huge waste or huge waste on CapEx, which is insane if you really think about that. If you don't believe in that, I guess you, you don't invest in the company. But that doesn't really matter to my thesis because I'm still getting a 9% yield on the $434 billion I'm paying for Meta. So 
when I just slice it, like, this company is selling really, really cheap. And it's going to be a growing company in the future. There's no other app replacing Meta. I don't even want to hear about TikTok. Like, please. TikTok doesn't do the same as Instagram, even though they're kind of doing the same thing right now. And Meta's switching to more reels. Still, they can both do good in the market. Like, it doesn't have to be one or the other. Ask anyone with TikTok. They have Instagram as well. It's not that just, oh, TikTok is here and no one has Instagram. People who have TikTok have Instagram and people who have Instagram probably have TikTok. Like, it's not one or the other. Like, people who think that way is crazy to think about that. And honestly, it's better that Meta has some competition because now kind of the regulation can kind of get off its back, in my opinion. It's just better for that. Because it's all been, oh, Instagram, 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 Instagram. But now they have competition. So now you can't give the same garbage argument of, oh, Instagram is the only thing. Like, nah, it's TikTok too. So, guys, tell me what you think about this video. Do you believe in Meta? Like, do you think this is cheap at this price? Do you think it's a dying company? Which, that's false. But people think it is. Anyways, guys, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Peace.